All right, so we've all heard of dry January, but on this Thirsty Thursday, we are celebrating sober October. Yeah, if you are skipping out on the alcohol this month, or if you always do, you don't need to skimp on the flavor. Joining us this morning is Seth O'Malley, the co-founder and head distiller with Wilderton Non-Alcoholic Botanical Spirits. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see ya. Uh, Wilderton, if folks have not had a chance to check it out, uh, you were really one of the first to come into this space to say, we're gonna make a zero-proof cocktail. We're gonna build out that full flavor profile that you would mm -hmm. get with an alcoholic beverage, minus the alcohol. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us about your approach to crafting these distilled botanical spirits. Sure, so m I'm a distiller by trade. Um, I specialize in botanical spirits, so things with herbs and spices. And uh, along with uh, my co-founder, Brad Whiting, we had this idea that you could use the traditional craft practices um, in a non-alcoholic context mm -hmm. to make something that you know, has all of the sort of character and craft and um, sort of, uh, you know, elegance behind it of right. a traditional alcoholic spirit. Depth and complexity. Exactly. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. you, and you said, you know, build out the flavor profile. So these are really boldly flavorful. Um, they're intense. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people would taste them and actually assume that they have alcohol in them mm -hmm. just Absolutely. because of sort of the, how forthright the flavors are. Mm -hmm. um, and really the idea is that we do all of the complex stuff behind the scenes for you out at our um, distillery and tasting room out in Hood River mm -hmm. so that you can mix them into a cocktail, um, make something very simple that comes off kind of impressive um, complex, interesting, lively. Yeah. yeah, well, and that's what you've, you've done that, and that is also why you opened the, the nation's first non-alcoholic tasting room out in Hood mm -hmm. River last year, which has been really cool to see, especially with the of evolution of non-alcoholic drinks, mm -hmm. because that has been a, a big boom over the last couple of years. How's the tasting room going out in, uh, out in Hood River? Oh, it's great. I mean, we're right there on the waterfront, um, and... People just keep pouring in. A lot of people have no idea what it is, and they mm -hmm. just stumble in. Uh, and then some people are seeking us out, so it's sort of a mix. But we are the, the first in the nation, uh, first distillery and tasting room. And so it's, you know, for people who are interested in non-alc or for people who are just curious or for people who don't get it, yeah. uh, it's the best way to figure it out. You know, the still is right there. You can go there while we're brewing botanicals um, and have really fun cocktails made with our product. Absolutely. I've got a couple friends who are doing Sober October this year. A lot of people, it's kind of catching on as a way to just kind of reset before mm -hmm. the holiday season and all of the excess that can come with it. Yes. So, Sober <laughs> October, you could still enjoy a little fall spritz. What are we making today? So, we have what we're calling the Autumn Spritz. Okay. And this features our bittersweet aperitivo. Now, an aperitivo um, is... A, an Italian type of beverage that's designed to be served before a meal typically. Mm -hmm. The idea is that it wakes up your senses. So it's very flavorful. Um, it balances bitter flavors with uh, a lot of citrus and herbs. It's also sweet, it's tangy. Yeah. So it's got a lot going on by itself. You can make very simple cocktails with it. And again, because there's so much going on in here, there's very little you have to do in here. Sure. Mm. Um, so the idea, you know, it's we're getting into fall, it's like entertaining season, at least uh -huh. for me, I'm Absolutely. having more dinner for parties sure, this time yeah. of year. I'm always thinking about what am I going to serve people when they show up. Uh -huh. um, so this is this is one that I would recommend. It's okay. really easy, but it does require a little bit of foresight because you have to make a an ice cube uh, out of apple cider. So this is just apple cider frozen into an ice cube uh, with a couple spices. So this is an ingredient and a garnish and the ice all in one. Oh, that's such that's a pretty cool, cool idea. Yeah. Yeah. And it is. It's like such a showstopper in a glass. And, yeah, and, and right? proof that a, a, that a zero proof cocktail yeah. can still have yeah. just as much, bring just as much to the table. Totally. Yeah. It's a fun little a fun little gimmick. Your guests will like it. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to mix in two ounces of the bittersweet aperitivo. Okay. Now, did you just use one of those like cocktail ice cube molds for the for the custom cubes? Exactly. Too? Just okay. one of those regular nice silicone ones. Just yeah. a grocery yeah. store. In there. Um, and a little bit of uh, ginger ale or uh -huh. ginger beer. This is also great with non-alc sparkling wines, of which mm. there are some very good examples out there. Yeah. And I'm just going to top it with a little bit of that. Um, give it a quick stir. It's also, I mean. The really beauty's in the simplicity of it, too, right? I mean, you did the work by, by distilling the non-alcoholic spirit into the bottle there, and then everything else mm -hmm. just kind of comes to life on its own. Emily and I exactly. don't normally get the chance to sip on these things. I was just saying, <laughs> because we have a no alcohol in the morning policy here on AM Extra. That's an okay part. Okay. It is. It is. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. I get we do yeah. understand, but cheers. 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 Good to go. What do you think? It does look like fall in a glass. 
I mean, that's delightful. Yeah. So one thing, and we were talking about this just before. You should try that. I, we got I on the air. This little ice cube. Is like the big battle I feel like with mocktails has been to really find that like alcoholic edge to a drink, right? right. Like kind of that cut that comes mm -hmm. through. You're truly, Wilderton is one of the few two I feel like actually achieved that because it can be really sugary, really syrupy, but you have found a way to finally kind of find that bite yeah. in yeah. a mocktail. Yeah. Well, thank you. I, I love to hear that. I mean, you don't, I like to think that we're sort of exiting the Shirley Temple era where yes. you used yeah. to have this question of do you want to have something uh, alcoholic or do you want to have something that's really sweet and cloying? Um, and we're, we're trying to kind of uh, get rid of that that whole mm -hmm. paradigm yeah. to where you can have something that's non-alcoholic that is serious on the one hand, yes. but also but also fun. It feels you have it feels adult. Elevated it, Seth. Thank you so much for coming in. If you want to check out Wilderton, it's wildertonfree.com for all the info. Happy autumn spritz season, everybody! Cheers! Thanks so much, guys. Yeah.